Okay, this is on the Stepan Stepansky job number five three eight four nine. Um, this is video one of two. This is on the West Furnace. <clears throat> um, let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> so if you come up in the attic right here, you got this wood walkway. The furnace is right under it. Um, Okay, so right now, um, <laughs> the furnace is in a bad spot, so we're going to move our new furnace and down, um, and I made you a piece of duct that's 30 inches, um, so that piece of duct will be tied against that 2x4 um, on the wall. So then we'll be, um, that duct, then our furnace, and that will be with this two by four between uh, 15 and 17 inches, 17 right here into the furnace. So I believe you'll be able to get your blower out right here. Um, and your new furnace, let's see. I marked it right here. I believe it was seven inches from the stud here. Yeah, seven inches from that stud. It's in front of your furnace top. Okay, so um, you're gonna tie in those existing two 12 inch 90s. I told Doc all the duct, two 12 inch ducts were not insulated all the way down um, and um, so he knows okay so we're gonna have the furnace and then the coil I'm gonna have a canvas and then just a little six inch piece um, that's gonna offset back so the new furnace I pushed it back so it's one inch from this back two by four you can see okay you can't but so push it back so it's one inch from that back two by four um i gave you a cut line right under this insulation this cut and it's right there keep this um keep this just cut it on the corners and fold it back because my new six inch piece, I didn't put liner on it. So you're gonna reuse this liner. Um, so I reused that insulation to put back over our six inch piece of duct. Okay. Um, okay, combustion air, not applicable, it's okay. Vent, you're gonna tie onto the existing B vent. Um, our new furnace is going to come out this side. Um, so I figure we're going to reuse all the B vent that we can. Turn my light up here. And you can see where it goes to the roof there. I figure undo this 90 and make it go this way. And then. Uh, So make it go, okay, undo the 90, make it go that way. I gave you a 36 inch piece and a couple other pieces um, and a 90 and a 90. And then, so you're gonna come over this way and then 90 or, you know, 45 or whatever to come back down to the front of the, in this space <clears throat> so I think I gave you enough stuff to do whatever you need there okay next is the gas so from the cock I'm just gonna replace the flex but out of the furnace you're gonna come with a 14 a 90 a 2 and then a T and they'll have your drip leg 
and then uh, you know your flex. Okay, AC, um, you're gonna flush the lines and uh, I'll go over the rest later. Well, I'll just go over it now. Um, new 36 by 36 pad. Um, the existing 40 amp breakers are okay. Just reuse the existing disconnect. Um, don't block the disconnect, of course. Um, the drain. So. Uh, I forgot have to measure this dang drain pan to make sure it's big enough for a new coil. So give me just a second. It is not. So I'm going to make you a new drain pan. Um, and you're going to put a drain pan overflow safety switch. Um, we use the existing legs here and on the furnace. The ones on the furnace are long enough that you can make them go um, lengthwise. So we do those so they're going lengthwise on the furnace. Okay, so and on the drain... You're, I know we don't usually put traps in an attic, but this one is kept directly into this ABS um, drain. So, um, we're going to put an easy trap with a P-trap in it and then tap, tie into the existing. Um, and I would just... Um, use the existing pipe. The overflow, we're going to use a coil overflow safety switch and just cut the overflow and put a three quarter inch cap on it. <clears throat> that way they won't get the sewer smell through their duct. Okay. Um, what next? Um, so the thermostat, you're going to reuse the existing Nest thermostat. You're, you're going to need to set it up for two-stage heating though. Um, we do have five wires. Um, I believe the Nest, you can not use a common on them. So you may be able to use that common as your W2. If not, we're in an attic, you can probably pull a new wire, they're real close. Um, okay, also on the scope, he has to seal all the existing, um, takeoffs with duck butter. So, do what you can to seal the takeoffs. Um, and they're under, you know, insulation there, so you may have to peel it back a little bit to see. Okay, that's it for the West Furnace.